These days, Stephanie Moist has more time than ever. She's still working three jobs, but now it's at her own pace. There is a catch, though. The reason she's able to slow down is because she moved to a place where that's possible. We're all just kind of flatlining with our salaries right now. It's a struggle, and it's been a struggle for me for 20 years as a single parent. The insurance agent works from home in the small coastal community of Bear Need. This house has been in her family for decades and needs a lot of work. But faced with rising rent even outside the metro area, it was her only option. $1,500 rent for a two-bedroom. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I make just, just over $40,000. And that's more than a paycheck. Last year, Moist and her 16-year-old son packed up their Mount Pearl rental and hit the highway all the way to port a grave and to a slower, more affordable lifestyle. Moist has always taken on extra work. Supporting three kids on her own hasn't come cheap. Two decades of working 70-hour weeks, juggling jobs and chasing after kids started to take a toll, especially as inflation began to spike. It just became overwhelming. My mind was constantly going, constantly going. And then you get a paycheck and then you go, here's rent, here's power, here's that. And it felt like everybody was getting what I had worked hard for, except for me. Out here, she's still juggling. She coordinates events and runs a small chocolate business on the side. But these days, it's her choice to be this busy. It's not out of necessity. And Moist says her mental health and bank account are already feeling relief from her decision to retreat. It goes further because my choice is mine now. I was able to buy tires for my car this year. Like that gave me so much joy and peace of mind because I could spend that. Um, because before I couldn't do it last year. I was paying rent. Moist got lucky. She had a family home to fall back on. But that's not the case for all. More than 300,000 Canadians are working multiple jobs to get by, clocking in more hours while their purchasing power plummets. We're calling it, you know, work burnout. I think that's a too soft of a way to phrase it. I really think it is exploitation and companies taking advantage and often paying us the bare minimum. This career coach says COVID brought flexibility work from home arrangements that took into account workers and their families. Ending that, she says, is a step in the wrong direction. Today in the year 2023, the 40 hour work week is very much outdated and is not practical. Nowadays, you need two parents working a full-time job, sometimes plus side gigs as well, just to maintain enough money to survive. But Moist has taken the power into her own hands, rejecting the grind as much as she can to improve her quality of life and spending her time on what matters most. I think things happen for a reason and I'm in this home that brings me so much joy right now. I'm the happiest I could say I've been in my life in a very long time. 14 days to Christmas. For once, Jesse was looking forward to school. Even though she's still working, Moist can now make room for her loved ones. Rather than send her small granddaughter an expensive toy this Christmas, she says she's carved out time to call her every week to read a bedtime story together. Life is about memories and they cost absolutely nothing. Malone Mullen, CBC News, Bare Need.